The biological hydrogen production with algae is a method of photobiological water splitting which is done in a closed photobioreactor based on the production of hydrogen as a solar fuel by algae. Algae produce hydrogen under certain conditions. In 2000 it was discovered that if C. Reinhardti algae are deprived of sulfur they will switch from the production of oxygen, as in normal photosynthesis, to the production of hydrogen. Photosynthesis Photosynthesis in cyanobacteria and green algae splits water into hydrogen ions and electrons. The electrons are transported over ferrodoxins. Fe-fe hydrogenases combine them into hydrogen gas. In Chlamydomonas Reinhardti photosystem 2 produces indirect conversion of sunlight 80% of the electrons that end up in the hydrogen gas. Light harvesting complex photosystem 2 light harvesting protein LHCBM9 promotes efficient light energy dissipation. The Fe-fe hydrogenases need an anaerobic environment as they are inactivated by oxygen. Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy is used to examine metabolic pathways. Truncated antenna. The chlorophyll antenna size in green algae is minimized or truncated to maximize photobiological solar conversion efficiency in H2 production. The truncated CHL antenna size minimizes absorption and wasteful dissipation of sunlight by individual cells, resulting in better light utilization efficiency and greater photosynthetic productivity by the green algae mass culture. History. In 1939 a German researcher named Hans Gaffrin, while working at the University of Chicago, observed that the algae he was studying, Chlamydomonas reinhardti, would sometimes switch from the production of oxygen to the production of hydrogen. He never discovered the cause of this change and for many years other scientists failed in their attempts to discover it. In the late 1990s, Professor Anastasia Smelis, a researcher at the University of California at Berkeley, discovered that if the algae culture or medium is deprived of sulfur, it will switch from the production of oxygen to the production of hydrogen. He found that the enzyme responsible for this reaction is hydrogenase, but that the hydrogenase lost this function in the presence of oxygen. Mellis found that depleting the amount of sulfur available to the algae interrupted its internal oxygen flow, allowing the hydrogenase an environment in which it can react, causing the algae to produce hydrogen. Chlamydomonas mousi is also a good strain for the production Production of hydrogen. Milestones. 1997 Professor Anastasia Smelis discovered, after following Hans Gaffron's work, that the deprivation of sulfur will cause the algae to switch from producing oxygen to producing hydrogen. The enzyme hydrogenase he found was responsible for the reaction. 2006 Researchers from the University of Bielefeld and the University of Queensland have genetically changed the single-cell green alga, Chlamydomonas reinhardti, in such a way that it produces an especially large amount of hydrogen. The SDM6 can, in the long run, produce five times the volume made by the wild form of alga and up to 1.6 to 2.0 percent energy efficiency. 2007 It was discovered that if copper is added to block oxygen generation algae will switch from the production of oxygen to hydrogen. 2007 Anastasia Smeda studying solar to chemical energy conversion efficiency into lax mutants of Chlamydomonas reinhardti achieved 15% efficiency, demonstrating that truncated CHL antenna size would minimize wasteful dissipation of sunlight by individual cells this solar to chemical energy.
conversion process could be coupled to the production of a variety of biofuels including hydrogen. 2008 Anastasi Asmeda studying solar to chemical energy conversion efficiency in TLAR mutants of Chlamydomonas Reinhardti achieved 25% efficiency out of a theoretical maximum of 30%. 2009 A team from the University of Tennessee, Knoxville and Oak Ridge National Laboratory stated that the process was more than 10 times more efficient as the temperature increased. 2011 Adding a bioengineered enzyme increases the rate of algal hydrogen production by about 400%. 2011 A team at Argonne's photosynthesis group demonstrated how platinum nanoparticles can be linked to key proteins in algae to produce hydrogen fuel five times more efficiently. 2013 Uppsala University, in Chlamydomonas Reinhardti Photosystem 2 produces indirect conversion of sunlight 80% of the electrons that end up in the hydrogen gas research. 2008 Scientists at the U.S. Department of Energy's Argonne National Laboratory are currently trying to find a way to take the part of the hydrogenase enzyme that creates the hydrogen gas and introduce it into the photosynthesis process. The result would be a large amount of hydrogen gas, possibly on par with the amount of oxygen created. 2009 Areas of research to increase efficiency include development developing oxygen-tolerant FIFI hydrogenases and increased hydrogen production rates through improved electron transfer. As of 2009, Hydromic Pro is testing plate reactors. As of 2013, Grow Energy has developed novel system for the large-scale production of hydrogen from structural bioreactors. 2014 Ruhr University and Max Planck Institute enhance hydrogen production of microalgae by redirecting electrons from photosystem I2. Hydrogenase. Economics. It would take about 25,000 square kilometers to be sufficient to displace gasoline use in the U.S. To put this in perspective, this area represents approximately 10% of the area devoted to growing soya in the U.S. In 2004, the U.S. Department of Energy issued a selling price of $2.60 per kilogram as a goal for making renewable hydrogen economically viable. One kilogram is approximately the energy equivalent to a gallon of gasoline. To achieve this, the efficiency of light to hydrogen conversion must reach 10% while 2004 achieved efficiency is only 1% and the 2004 actual selling price is estimated at $13.53 per kilogram according to a 2004 DOE cost estimate. For a refueling station to supply 100 cars per day, it would need 300 kilogram. With current technology, a 300 kg per day standalone system will require 110,000 square meters of pond area, 0.2 grams L cell concentration, a truncated antennae mutant and 10 cm pond depth. Bioreactor design issues. Restriction of photosynthetic hydrogen production by accumulation of a proton gradient. Competitive inhibition of photosynthetic hydrogen production by carbon dioxide. Requirement for bicarbonate binding at photosystem 2 for efficient photosynthetic activity. Competitive drainage of electrons by oxygen in algal hydrogen production. Economics must reach competitive price to other sources of energy and the economics are dependent on several parameters. A major technical obstacle is the efficiency in converting solar energy into chemical energy stored in molecular hydrogen. Dot. Attempts are in progress to solve these problems via bioengineering. 